Hi there, my name is Beth Brown and I'm the seed growth specialist for Bayer for Southern Alberta. And today we are going to be looking for wireworms in our wheat fields. When it comes to wireworms, there's about 30 different species that expand across the prairies. Generally what they look like is they are orange to bright yellow colors and you'll be finding them in your soil in and around the seedling. Wireworms do like to chew on those cereal crops, uh, barleys, wheats. You could also find them in your lentil fields as well as it is a little bit smaller of a seed and they are known to chew on those. Some places in your field that you might see some wireworms is on the side of a hill simply because wireworms like to be able to move through the soil easily and on a side of a hill that's a high drainage area so they can move through there easier as opposed to in a lull or a bottom part of a field where it's a little bit thicker, there's maybe a little bit more moisture in that soil, harder for them to get through there. Wire worms do not work in a straight line. If you're noticing uh, misses in your field that are straight lines, that, that's most likely due to a seeding error. Whereas wire worms are more random and they're not gonna stick to a single line, they're gonna move around the area. So you'd see bare patches as opposed to straight lines in your field. Wire worms in their larvae state can remain in that state for on an average of five years. So if you had them last year, there's a really good chance you'll have them again this year as they remain in that state for five years before they turn into a cliff beetle. When it comes to scouting wireworms in your field, the best way is to use a bait ball. So a bait ball is basically oats, honey, and water mixed together, formed into a ball. And what that does is once it is put into the ground, it releases CO2, and that's exactly what the wireworm is attracted to. Just like when our plants are in the ground, the seeds, they're releasing CO2, that's what attracts the wireworm there. So with bait balls, you're gonna plant it, uh, you know, a couple of inches down into the soil. You're gonna leave it for seven to 10 days, come back, dig it back up, uh, and take a look inside that ball and see how many wireworms you have. That is basically the only indication to figure out if you do have wireworms in your field, other than knowing from previous years if you do have wireworms. Some other telltale signs of wireworms in your field is actually going in and digging up some plants and taking a look at the seed itself. So what will happen there is the wireworm will actually burrow into the seed, eat it all, hollow it out, and there will be another hole of them leaving. So that's them basically decimating that seed. Each wireworm can chew per day probably one to two seedlings, so they can cause uh, quite a bit of damage in your field. When it comes to management practices for wireworms, we do have Raxel Pro Shield, which is our fungicide and insecticide product. The amazing thing about Stress Shield uh, is that it is a systemic product, meaning that it grows with your plant. It's not just gonna be on the seed, but it's gonna grow into the roots as well as into the stem of that plant. So that kind of sets us apart from some other seed treatments because it is a systemic insecticide, meaning that it grows with the plant. It grows into the roots, it grows into the stem. So no matter where that wireworm is chewing, it's always gonna get a piece of stress shield or that insecticide portion, as opposed to some other seed treatments that are only contact insecticides, meaning that if, uh, if they chew on something other than just the seed, that particular insecticide would not actually work against them. When it comes to managing wireworms in your field, research has proven time and time again that a seed treatment insecticide is the only way to combat against them. There is no second option where we can come in with a foliar insecticide and spray over, as we can with some other bugs. But for wireworms, seed treatments are our only option for controlling them. <laughs>